Today I'm going to show you how to use the RAM Disk. It's a program where it uses your RAM, where you can install applications and stuff on it. Uh, this is pretty much acts like for people that this is for pretty much for people that don't have a solid state drive, an SSD, and it's a lot cheaper. Record to the price right here on the program for the full version. The free version only you, you can only use up to four gigs, and the full version makes it so you could use how much you want. I don't recommend buying the full version unless you have about ten gigs of RAM. <laughs> On your computer. After you have it downloaded, the I'm using the free version. After it's downloaded, this is what the installer will look like. Just install the program. There ain't no ad, what like advertisements or anything on it. Um. Then you open up the program. Sorry, I had it open. For a first time setup, this is totally, you have to follow these steps, this step by step. This is for only starting up for the first time. First you want to create how much space you want to use in megabytes, and make sure you set it to FAT32. Hit start RAM disk. Now it's right here on my computer it shows now I have another drive which is actually my RAM disk. Go to start and load. Check save image on shutdown and auto save every 300 seconds which is the minimum how much it saves and I think that's about five, every 5 minutes. Then click save image now. This pretty much it's like a backup file for your RAM disk because when your computer gets shut down or power goes out, your RAM gets completely wiped. And when if the power does go out, it's only gonna roll back to the last time it's saved. Then you hit stop RAM disk. Then you make then you hit load disk at startup. Now instead of it creating a new RAM disk at, when you start it, it's going to load the image file that you created. See right here is the image file. It actually creates a backup image along with it. So it's t for me it's taking about almost a gig of RAM on my hard drive. But it's worth it. This is for people that don't want to buy an SSD, uh, SSD co uh, hard drive. And it does help performance. This is for all. And this is pretty much it for explaining how the, the program works. and getting it ready to go. I'm gonna... This next portion is for m the people that play Minecraft. I'm going to stop my RAM disk and load up my backup image file that I did that has my Minecraft on it. One more thing about the program, when you close the program, it, this program will always be constantly on as long as the driver is in 
the drive is on. And don't forget to save the settings when you close it. And now I got my Minecraft in. In here, first you want to create a bat file. You want to actually make this directory. Create a Minecraft folder. Create a bin folder and a data folder. Create and then create this bat file, which is this. Set app data equals cd data slash bin minecraft exe. In the bin folder is your minecraft exe. For America, you for Windows, um, you would use the Minecraft exe file and put just put it in your bin folder. And the data is where your dot Minecraft would be, which everyone knows where their dot Minecraft is. Just copy and paste it in here. Mm. And recommend that you just you copy the file, you don't move it because don't know if the any chances that the image file could be corrupted to where you have to create a new one or you accidentally create <laughs> create a new one and override it I hit run Right now I'm, not, I'm running with a high quality texture, so it might take a while to load. No, I don't really know how to. For those people that are the ones that uses the MC patch to start the game, I don't know how you actually are supposed to do that. This is also this method right here of using Minecraft is good for portable, like just installing it on a flash drive, so you're not using someone else's Minecraft folder. I'm using um, mm -hmm. a really high res texture pack. It takes a while to actually lo load the game. I have a few um, mods on here too. Make, so right now Minecraft is running off precisely off my RAM. So it loads faster. It hardly has any lag. Like right now it's lagging just because of the high res texture pack and I'm running fraps. And it takes a lot for it to buff out. So if I'm running fraps it's actually slowing down the game a lot. Um, the game like 30 frames per second. But normally I, uh, I think it's because I have the view distance high. Yeah. I'm using Optifine for my video settings. still getting lag. I think it's fraps that's causing the lag. 
And I know if I switch to full screen, I know full screen will prevent the, some of the lag also, but I know it'll cancel out my fraps. With my experience, the uh, Minecraft runs a lot better while it's on the run, <laughs> RAM disk. Right now, I should be actually getting like a frame rate of about 60 frames per second, but since it's not in full screen, I'm getting about 30 to 20, and I'm running fraps too. And I'm only, I only have like one, like a one and a half gigs of RAM calculated. Pretty much when you have the, um, have Minecraft on a RAM disk, it makes it so the the land will load faster. Then if I change it, video setting, put it on tiny to show how fast the chunks load. Right here is the, if you see the chunk update, it's on zero. I'll put it back to short. See so how the chunk, normally when I have, when I play Minecraft on the hard drive, the chunk updates always stay around above 100. like 100 to 200 all the time and see it's not really going up to 200 it makes it run the textures faster getting that good of a frame rate because I'm having crap recorded at a high quality. And it's not running off the program. So it buffs out a little bit, so you run a little more smooth. But of course I'm running a high res texture pack which is um two hundred the the two hundred res texture pack. And I get pretty much no lag, but I'm getting lag just because of fraps. See right now it's buffed out a little bit, so I'm getting about 40 frames. All what this does is makes it so you use <laughs> it loads the textures and it loads the textures faster and it st and it makes it more sm the gameplay more smoother. If you like this uh, tutorial, please thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll be and I'll be enjoy using this tool, the RAM disk. This can be used for more than just Minecraft. If you have a lot of RAM, you could possibly put a game on it. It'll make it run a whole lot smoother. I'm limited to about a gig of RAM because of how much RAM I have. And so yeah.